Okay. Right, let's see how this one goes. So the original size, that's a good question. Make it A5 just to be on the safe side. Let's see what we have. Oops. <laughs> Reverse it. I wonder what colour we're going to give it. Let's see what colour. Going to leave it red. Okay. Okay, we're going to go red. Going to make it really red. Okay. We're going to go all the way. Sign's going to be a lot less. And also the black. So let's just... So what else we're going to do? We're just going to call it quits. Well, not quits, but done. But we're going to um, enlarge it. But anyway, I got this from Aldi. It's yogurt. It's very nice blood mango and blood or orange yogurt. Really nice. I really love the way it's swirled in, as it says. So it looks like it's a B6. But I don't know what enlargement I need to make a B6 into an A4. I can't work that out. It's not an easy size. It's one of them odd type sizes. I'm just going to gently place the dock feeder on it. I'm a bit worried it's going to crack the glass. I better just keep it like that. And we're just going to try and intuitively work out just how big this thing is. We've got to make it. So wondering if we're going here. So X equals... I don't know how big we're going to make this. 169% X and the up and down which is the Y we're going to make it 169 so basically we're not we're doing this unnecessarily we're just going to leave it like that but it's not going to make it oval shaped it's just as if we just we just made it I don't know why I did it like that silly I wish I could have just done it with both X and Y together because it's not going to make a difference. But I thought, but of course it being a paper size like B6, I didn't need to stretch it or compress it. I hate it when I do that. I just did extra work for it, on it, for nothing. I didn't need the X and the Y are even. But anyway, I'm just wondering if maybe we can just lift it up a little bit, but it does look really nice. We're just going to push it up just a little bit hopefully not too far gently put the dock feeder on it very gently just support it I don't want to crack the glass so yeah platinum glasses like this are rated at around or at two kilograms you put more than two kilograms worth of weight on the platinum you're going to break it. So it's not worth sitting on it at Christmas time. It's not worth it. You don't sit on the copier. You can get into big shit. And it's not good to be unemployed and then have to look for another job. And what, what will you say to the, the, the... What will the job interviewer think when, when you are dobbed in and it's on your resume that you sat on the copier and broke it? Damn, that would be a terrible thing around Christmas time. So please don't do it.